Hi, Kenneth. How are you? How are you keeping? Fine. How are you getting on? Yeah, good. Thanks. Good. Are you keeping well? Yeah. Fine. Good. Yeah. Excellent. So listen, from the last time we met, uh, it's been a few months. We're halfway through the journey we're on post. Uh, and this is, I suppose, your check-in call to see how you're getting on. But you mind me asking to start off, how are you finding things since we had the meeting that day? And I suppose an initial consultation, an initial chat. You definitely gave us uh, a lot to think about. And uh, myself and Sue sat down and we did consider all of the different options we spoke about on the day. One of the things we're finding trying to rear three kids on a single income is the saving 250 euro a month is quite a stretch, especially when you've got things like the gymnastics to pay for. It's a bit of a struggle, I won't lie to you, but we're getting there. And in fairness, the advice you gave was, I, I think anyway, has made a massive difference. Well, look, it's never easy, these things. I think the reason why we picked that 250 euro, even though there is a single income, it's more, if you can try and get used to saving that amount of money, even after six months, it was a drop down to 100, 150 euro. It builds up that emergency fund for the family again, I suppose, as well. But also, it gets you into that good habit. But uh, it's good to see that you're, you're, you're kind of getting there, even if it is just scraping it by on a monthly basis. But again, it is a challenge. You're great for the tips, Paul. As you say that, as uh, myself and Sue set up the Kenneth and Sue at medical expenses. Yes, uh, gmail.com. And that's made a, that's been a big difference. That's yeah, well, that is good to hear because it is important to make sure we are claiming those. Now, that was another thing we asked you to do as well is consider claiming those expenses back and keep and track of the expenses for the household. And the last thing we asked you to do was have a think about the kids uh, and discussion with the kids. Has that happened, Jeff? I'm not really sitting down to get kids to do Excel spreadsheets, but <laughs> having... <laughs> uh, we have, yeah doing tasks around the house and getting a reward for that. Lastly, the pension. We did speak about a higher risk investment. We're risk averse, to be honest, as you can imagine with one income and three kids. And then I want a kind of a handy, a handy retirement ball. So I, I would, I want to make sure there's a few pound there, like, you know? Yeah. No, we took it on board. We, we got a, a lot of good advice and we've made the decision points. So we've, we've actually gone into the, that next bracket, as you call it. Good to see you're on track. It's good to see you're still sticking to that 250, although it is a challenge. So congratulations. Yeah. Paul, if I could if I could ask you there on the, yeah. the the 250, would you recommend to put that into a different savings pot or keep it in as a kind of a savings in your current account or how? No, I would always recommend keeping your savings outside your current account. So maybe an on post account. I would always say try not keep with the banks. So if you bank with Bank of Ireland, try not put it into a Bank of Ireland deposit or online account because you're going to see it every day. When you the unpost is a good idea. Yeah, good stuff. And in fairness, but the only thing I will say is those jars, if you are using the unpost and uh, the money manager tool, um, setting those saving jars up, do think of that can for the future. Uh, the, the, the likes of the kids back to school, Christmas, birthday present, and at least you know the money's there next year. Uh, saves you going borrowing or saves you stressing during the summer holidays for it as well. Um, mm-hmm. And your priorities and stuff, you know, is getting paid annually and things that might sometimes hurt your budget or your back pocket. Well, Kenneth, listen, go to check in. We'll see you in another few months. Um, and uh, yeah, keep it up. I mean, there's nothing really to report here other than great to see you're doing so well. Take care.